Hey, what's up guys? Jacob here back with another video. In this video I'm going to be going over some tips about the bird versus bison matchup. So, first off I want to go over that, you know, you're going to have a lot of trouble with this character. This character is pretty tough to deal with. You know, he's gotten a lot of uh, buffs over time. It used to be manageable back in the day when he didn't have as much extra tools against this character, but due to his V-Skill 2 changing, it makes it a lot harder for me to get my offense started or to get in on uh, bison the reason why is because pretty much I can't throw a banana if he has v-skill tool out v-skill 2 is just really good really solid at catching me it's plus on block on top of that so even if I bait it like let's say I eat a, a donut so I can you know have no time to build yeah. meter and still be able to I guess block he's still plus so that's the problem see so it just becomes a, a kind of a annoying now that he has that, you know. Well, I'm not now. You've been had that for a while, but I'm just saying, you know. A lot of people were saying that this matchup used to be terrible for Bison, but it's not really that bad for Bison. You know, you got since I have a four frame, you could do those longer like strings like this. And I have to guess in between those, you know, strike throw mix up, great strike throw mix up with stand jab. It's like Rashid, where you know it's plus three can shimmy you, he can pressure you more. It's just that same concept up close. That's what makes him a scary character. Right? They confirmed that into the uh, Inferno. The Inferno is punishable, so it's, but you have to like see it coming. A lot of times they do it very like quickly, randomly or whatever. That was more obvious for you. It's really minus though, so you can punish it. I didn't punish it there well, but yeah. I punished it before. See how sometimes you're not ready, you want to challenge back right away. But you have to stay stay put, wait for him to make a mistake, which is not likely because Bison has a lot of safer moves to go into. So it just makes it a lot scared to deal with pressure wise. In terms of the neutral game, like I said, the stand fierce is really good. You can constantly poke you out with stand fierce, hard to whiff punish as well. This move right here, you can buffer it, walk back, sit, stay put, buffer it more. You know, make it safe if he wants to. Get Oki if he gets to confirm or some, something like that. So to avoid this, you want to stay out of that range and try to poke him out a little bit, right? Try to whiff punish. Problem is, it's not that easy to whiff punish. Even though I did it there, I just knew it was coming. It's actually really hard to whiff punish if you're not ready. This slide is pretty decent against Bison. He can punish it with uh, crouch and medium punch. That's good range priority. His low four is good too against that. He pretty much could get plus frames on you through any situation. So that kind of is annoying too. If he has meter obviously. But yeah. Besides that it's mostly a patient game and who's getting in first pretty much. Yeah. Bison has very good uh, air to air properties. So against good Bison play you don't want to jump in too much. You could do this jump in maybe, you might catch the crouch heavy punch. But against a smarter bison, they're just gonna air to air you to avoid any like air situations. As for the EX double reverse, which a lot of people when they first start off they have a lot of trouble with because of its properties. And even at the high level you're still gonna have trouble with this move. I'll go over which one did I have it on? Oh, that's the V trigger. Hold on. Let me just make it real quick. Oh. Right, the reason why this is really annoying because for some reason he has invincibility, he has priority on the, the beginning part, so a lot of bison do it like they delay it a little more. They delay the stomp a little more so that they keep that priority. The reason why I say priority is because look, so if you try to air to air it, see what happens there? It has a little bit of invincibility, which is dumb, right? And if you try to do it too early, you might get stuffed out like that. The problem is, you're getting hard knockdown. Not hard knockdown, but you're getting knocked down, and he's air recovering, so he's always going to be plus after that. You know, dash up, nice plus. So that's why that move is really annoying. You have to just read it, or just like respect it in a sense. Most bison delay a little bit and then go into it, but yeah, he can change it up at any points, which makes it really difficult to deal with. So 
that's another way of kind of getting around that you have to just wait and just see it's better to wait if he goes into the stomp it can be annoying too it's almost like a little 50 50 as well right you know you can kind of stay at a good range like that where it's hard for me to like really do something right i have to know that he's gonna whiff the uh, go for it and the problem is if i whiff this right in front of him He's gonna land right in front of me, bait me, and then just go for a stand fierce or a crouch or a stand medium kick or something. Which is another great poke against Birdie. Stand medium kick is gonna be very good against Birdie. It counters a lot of my stuff. Do I have a stand fierce setup? I'm gonna go over the stand fierce. In the neutral as well. Crouch medium punch, you know. Any character that has a really good prioritized crouch medium punch is gonna be really good. See, can't do that. Hit confirm into heavy scissors. Now you're guessing he has a 50 50 after that. Sort of, you know, strike throw. You can do, you know, crouching light stand, light kick into scissor again, or throw you or shimmy you. So you, you got those three options. Or you could just be shift away. That's why in this matchup, you kind of want to save it. And then use, you know, re reversal, uh, V shift to get a lot of situations. Like for example, his uh, what is freaking what's it called, axe or something, psycho axe, another good move that he has. There you got the 50/50 /50 there, sort of not hard 50/50, but yeah, uh, psycho axe setup. Uh, this counters a lot. Obviously, you can save it to do that, but only if you're reading it. That's the thing, right? But if you do from too far, you can't really get much. It's something to do when you're up close. I believe you can get a punish over stand heavy, <coughs> stand heavy kick as well up close. Hold on, check. I believe so. I'm not exactly sure. Should have put in the block. Wait, how negative was it? Negative seven. Okay, yeah, I can. It's gotta be early enough. Oh, nah, charge. It's kinda hard to charge bullhorn and V shift. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Got it. But yeah, you, V shift is a good tool against Bison to get him off of you, but if he reads it, you can take a lot of damage too, so. It's hard, it's hard. It's definitely hard on defense to deal with him. You have armor as well to deal with a lot of the block string pressure. But he can also sit there, he has a good jump in from good range, like yeah. he has a lot of tools, he has a lot of tools. The X scissor kick is really good too. Yeah, it's really this matchup is not fun. It used to be. You know, once you get in on bison, that's pretty much, you know, the game. He doesn't have a DP, he doesn't have the best counter options. His V reversal is okay, you know. So he's gonna be trying to do the same thing pretty much. And the best thing, you, the thing you want to do against Bison is try to get that V trigger out. Because once he's in V trigger, it's very scary. I think V trigger one's a little bit better against Birdie, just because he can kind of maneuver around Birdie's uh, wake up options and defensive options, so it's a little easier. V trigger two is still good for the 50/50s, but yeah, I think V trigger one is better in this matchup or harder to deal with. You can't deal with it though. There are options you can do, but yeah. But if you're trying to deal with a bison using V trigger 2, you do have options to counter. So you can jab out the psycho crush. <coughs> They're trying to do it from distance to get plus frames. Once I'm gonna get some water. You can check him, you can armor through it. You have options if the, the bison trying to get plus frames. A lot of bison do this because they just want the plus frames. So they try to throw it from a distance. You get a punish. I'm not sure if you can slide under it. No, you have to probably do it really early anyways. Up close he's punishable. But it depends. It depends on like how you block. That's what makes it annoying. It's hard to know exactly like what's going on with the frames. So you never know exactly if you're if he's punishable or not, a bit. But you can't do it. 
You'll be having trouble with that. Yeah, hopefully I'm going through, you know, making a lot of sense with this. I know a lot of this I kind of like ramble off about certain things. I kind of want to like see a replay though. I, the person that recommend this, like, can you, can you send me like your CFN or something so I can kind of like see what you're struggling with in this matchup? Cause I believe someone said they were struggling with this in uh, the comments, but I forgot who it was. If you could tell me your CFN so I can kind of see the matches that you're having against Bison, the struggles, so I, the struggles that you're having, so that I can kind of like understand like what's actually happening, like what what's wrong, like you know. Because with Bison, it's hard, you know, especially against a player you don't know or anything like that. It's you don't know. It's like you're guessing in the neutrals, you know. You don't know what they're gonna go for. You don't know what's their like gimmick and stuff. So it's more of like a matchup that gets better when you know the player and, not, and you know, long sets, you know. It's not a matchup that's fun to play right off the bat because you don't know where you're getting yourself into. You know, what type of Bison player it is, so that you gotta just make, you know, an educated guess on how they're gonna play, you know what I mean? So it makes it very difficult. You know. But it's mostly like, countering a lot of his stuff. You know, like with reshift, whiff punishing, staying out of range of his uh, normals so you can whiff punish, anti him when he's trying to jump in. Oh yeah, the cycle ball. Forgot about mentioning the cycle ball. So the cycle ball is another really good tool that Bison has obviously to get in. The reason why I say that is because it has a decent hitbox, so it's a little bit difficult to get the Dolphin Dive over it sometimes. See? Like if he's staying in front of it, you know, you have to do it right away, you know? It's something that you gotta react to, so you can't counter it if he's staying, you know, if you see him walking back a little bit trying to get it out, you can definitely punish him for it. You know what I mean? It's like any projectile, but yeah. It does have a fairly big hitbox, so if it's out already, just kind of be aware of that, you know. Okay, it's not that bad, actually. It's not that bad. It's not like Urien's uh, V-Skill projectile, but yeah. But you can counter it with that if you want to get it as soon as possible because if you leave it out then you're kind of fucked at that point you have to guess when he's walking you down with it you know, he has multiple options he can kind of go for at that situation and once it's out it's out right you can just do a bunch of crazy shit right because it's out so if you try to trade with them you're gonna get hit by the ball eventually right so that's what makes it a lot difficult to deal with All right try to get through it he's gonna just stop you and he has the V skill as well on top of that to try to cross you up on the other side if that happens if he does too early you could grab him reason why I say grab him instead of punish because you don't want to get hit by the ball in the middle of that right, it becomes like a really hard not too hard to block but depending on when he times it, it can be really hard to block but you just wanted to grab him you have to worry about the ball I mean, the V-Skill itself is easy to see. Obviously, you can bait it if you see him just doing it, like, you know what I mean? <coughs> if he's just doing it in the neutral, you can punish it really well. It's really slow if he's just doing it raw, but... If he's doing it to react to this, then yeah, you're gonna get fucked a lot. And that's mostly the, the problem. That V-Skill did so much, like, for Bison in this matchup. It helps so much get in on Birdie. For like doing stuff like this, like he can't set play Bison anymore. He can only get after knockdown now, and Bison can still punish after knockdown. So it just makes it a lot more difficult to even like try to like do anything. He does have options to counter like most characters. I believe he has to spend meter though, like most characters as well. Oh, I didn't come on. Yeah, most Bison players are pretty wild. I would say that. Cause they have a lot of freedom on to oppress you, so you're gonna find out how annoying it is to fight a bison player for sure. Cause they're they're very like you know lackluster. They do a lot of crazy shit. Oh, just fucking wake up, ex. But yeah, what was I gonna go over again because of that? Right, lose. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. If you're trying to throw the shit up. Hold on. Yeah, don't back. If there's quick rising, you can't get this. If they're back rolling, like I okay, I forgot to mention that if. The opponent, you know, like if the opponent doesn't know the matchup, you could take advantage of that, obviously. You know, if they're back rolling, a lot of stuff becomes real, obviously, right? So, 
Yeah, do you see them back rolling every wake up? Yeah, you can go for stuff because they're, they're literally pretty much, they don't know the matchup, so that's why they're doing that. Or they have a, they're autopiloting that, that option after they get knocked down. But you can punish it. You can punish, you can set play me, even if I do EX as well. If I do EX, you know, obviously you can't do that. Oh, you still can, you can reach. Oh, okay. Ah. Oh. He just reaches. May walk back a little bit. The, I, I'm starting to realize that, like, you don't have to do it right away. You don't have to meaty everything, like, or do things right away. You can wait a little bit to get out of that range and to bait him a little bit. Okay, that's good to know. I gotta remember that, like, walking back sometimes and doing certain situational things actually is good when a player knows the matchup. It makes it actually fun, you know, to actually switch things up because the player actually knows the matchup. That's actually cool, okay. So yeah. Yeah, I, I don't have to play so linear because so many players aren't countering a lot of stuff. Yeah, okay, this is cool. Yeah, hopefully I went over... I, can you sweep on wake up? I don't think you can sweep. I don't think sweep comes out fast enough. It's slow on startup, but it goes really far. I say reversal because I don't know. It's always it's been like that forever. This freaking training mode. It's still messed up with uh, Ibuki and Birdie. Birdie's thing is still messed up. Like he always does bullhorn. If you try to do block string stuff like that, bullhorn just comes out all the time. You have to perfectly time it on wake up. It's so annoying. They still haven't fixed that. It's been like that since day one. It's really bad. But yeah, okay. Uh, but yeah, wake up options. Yeah, he can sweep you. Okay, he does have mirrorless options as well. So yeah, you, you don't want to be doing stuff like that. I figured that. I would, you know, just remember that. I just want to make sure I'm going over everything. Because a lot of stuff I kind of do is sometimes muscle memory stuff. A lot of times is muscle memory, just reaction based muscle memory kicking in. So yeah. Best thing to do if you're struggling with this matchup, just play a lot of it. I know it's gonna suck. Play a lot of it. This is not really a, a matchup that you just have tech and you just beat Bison. You know what I mean? It's it's a matchup that you gotta know the player. You gotta know what it, they're gonna do and get in on him. Once you're in on Bison, he struggles because he doesn't have really good uh, options besides his uh, three frame. And I'm actually thinking that V Trigger Two might be better against Bison than One because Bison can punish One's uh, moves really easily. Like if you have V trigger one, like you don't want to even use V trigger much. You want to use it just to V shift or V reversal bison away from you because of the pressure game. You want to just keep them out as much as you can. But yeah. But hopefully that helped. Uh, you know that the guy who asked for the matchup. Hopefully that helped. You know. Maybe you can ask me for something else. I, I don't know. Like maybe some offensive tips, maybe. I mean, I did go with block streams. I'm not sure exactly what you're struggling with in this matchup. You know, I kind of rather see it so I can know exactly what I can help you out with in this matchup. Because without really knowing, I, I'm just gonna give you like a general like, you know, what to look out for and stuff. I don't really know. So just let me know like more thoroughly like what what you're struggling with in the matchup, so I know you know. Because this matchup is it's it's different, you know. It's more like just who gets the offense first started and stuff like that, and avoiding situations as much as you can. Like best thing to do is maybe show a matchup or see your replay and then go over it. Because off the top of my head, it's it's not like something I can really like get through like every single thing and make sense of it as much. But hopefully, it did make sense for the most part. I know these freaking matchup videos are a little bit wacky in terms of just going over each thing. But I do appreciate you guys for still, you know, supporting and, you know, always commenting about stuff and stuff. But please, like, comment. You know, I want to know, like, what what's going on. Like, or that person that asked for this matchup. But I want to know exactly what's going on. Like, why, why are you struggling or what are you struggling with? Or send me a CFN so I know. But yeah. With that... Grab chain. So I'm just making sure I went over a lot. Hopefully I went over most most of the basic stuff. But yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace.